Hi, I'm Lizzie and this is my kitchen. It's getting into the festive season so I thought I'd try to make some mini Christmas puddings. Okay, so for this recipe you're going to need one whole pre-cooked Christmas pudding, some nice dark chocolate because the more expensive it is the better it's going to be, some white chocolate and some glazed cherries. For the first step you're going to need to take your dark chocolate, just break it up into smaller bits so that it melts faster. So I'll just get that starting to melt and then I'm going to go over and start to put together the rest of the mixture. For the next stage, while your chocolate's melting, you need to get into this Christmas pudding, break it up into smaller pieces. Okay, now that this is nice and mashed up, you don't have to add in brandy, but it's a Christmas tradition and I'm Scottish and frankly, this is how we roll. So I like to put a little bit in because it gives it that Christmassy kind of flavour. A thimble full, not too much because otherwise it's going to be full of alcohol and that's not what you want, you just want a bit of the flavour. For this last stage, I'm just going to grab the melted chocolate. This is going to make your final truffles, your miniature Christmas puddings, really rich. So now, I need to just mix this in into one big mess. For this last stage, get some baking parchment and just cover a large plate because this is where we're going to put our miniature puds once we've moulded them into those nice spherical shapes. For this next part, you're going to have to get ready to get your hands really messy. We're going to have to turn this mess into some lovely round Christmas puddings. What I recommend you do is use gloves, but I don't have any with me today, so you just need to end up mushing these together in as best a circle as you can manage. So this is what you end up with, very attractive, I don't think so, but we've not decorated them yet. I've made them this size because that's the size that I like them, but if you wanted to make them smaller to give us a gift or as like little bonbons you could do that as well. The next thing to do is to put these in the fridge to set for as long as it takes, but I think it would probably take a couple of hours. While your Christmas puds are in the fridge cooling down, you need to get your white chocolate which we're going to use for decoration and we're also going to melt it the same way as we did with the dark chocolate. This has come to a nice smooth consistency so I'm going to take it over to the table and get my pre-cooled Christmas puddings out of the fridge. So these are nice and cool now, still not too attractive but they're firm to touch. Now for this bit of decorating, look as much like a traditional Christmas pudding as you can. Basically, what we're trying to do is make them look a bit like berries, like you see on full-size Christmas puddings. So once you've cut up your cherries and you've got your miniature berries on your miniature Christmas puddings, sometimes it's nice to do something like Put a little bit of uh, icing sugar, a little bit like snow. And then I've got this little tray which you could use to serve these on. Say you had like a Christmas party or something like that. You just let them set and then that's you. That's your miniature Christmas fittings, which you can impress all of your guests with. Ta-da! 